Hey everybody, it's the coach, and this is Monday Night Football on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see the Denver Broncos behind their new signal color, Case Keenum, take on Derek Carr and the Oakland Raiders. I'll be back at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from Sunday's action. But for now, it's Monday Night Football. And to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Oakland, California. The pregame festivities here in Oakland have to be seen to be believed. This crowd in silver and black, they are fired up as their Raiders get set to face off with the Denver Broncos. Hi again, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at the Raiders here entering play. It's been perfection so far. They come in here unbeaten at 14-0. And just two wins away from doing something only two teams have ever done. But the most important thing for them now is to make it to the postseason in one piece. The holiday season is upon us. We've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in Week 16. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. A carry for the Northern California native, Devontae Barker. And they see right through that defensively. A second down carry for Booker. Pushing two tacklers at the 30. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34. Sometimes it's hard to find for an offense when they're in a long yardage situation, which usually means throw the football. In this case, they went against the tendency and ran it. And boy, the reward was there. A big, big pickup. And guess what? It's now third and very short. The first carry for DeAndre Washington. And a short pickup there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. A look now at the Oakland offense. One of the things I like to do when I'm scouting players is talk to those who knew him before. And I ended up finding out that Amari Cooper. Now Carr throwing on second down. Oh, a battle for it here. And this will be caught. Give him a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Derek Wolf there on the tackle. On the defensive side of the ball, here are the starters for Denver. They enter play one from the bottom, number 31 in the league, Charles, against the run. And when people talk about facing a challenge, they are certainly getting one in this ball game. We got three, we got three. Monday, down. You ready? Yes. Richard. <laughs> and he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. On first down, Carr escaping the pressure right. There he goes inside the 30. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. Now Carr on the bootleg, sliding out of the pocket. And it's caught inside the five. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And this is going to result in losing yardage. Working from the gun, it's Carr. Finding his safety valve here, that's complete. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Carr now on third and goal. And he took the contact as he was throwing it, and the ball drops incomplete. Tavecchio puts this one through. And the Raiders jump out to a 3-0 advantage. But how about exactly what you're talking about? Going down the stretch, how much importance is placed on these games? Look, everyone talked about every game's important. <laughs> when you get to this time of year, maybe that importance gets 
quadruple. In preparation for the game, you notice where guys rank in the league in terms of statistical categories. He's fourth in the league in receiving yards. That caught my attention in a positive way. Over the middle, open is Thomas. And he'll be taken down across the 50. Keenum now on first down. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Gary and Conley. And he will bring this all the way back out to midfield. Richard on the toss. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. To throw on second down. Carr. And Bryant's got it over the middle. And he's finally taken down, and it's a big game there. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. Looking to throw on second down. Carr flush to his right. And the Raiders are in for six. Touchdown. Derek Carr. People have shied away from taking a runner early, but there's that special one there. I say they go get him. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. From the gun, it's Keenum. He'll find Sutton on the right side complete. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and 10. Throwing his Keenum. He goes full extension, and he's got it. Inside of 32. You, you, you okay? You feeling all right? Uh, I'll be all right. Okay, good. I just need some chocolate and a box of tissues. <laughs> Run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. To throw is Kano. And this one is incomplete. Keenum again here on second and ten. That's complete right around the eight. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. On the ground, Richard. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. On second down, here's Carr. Flushed out right. And it's hauled in by Jared Cook. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a pretty big hole. Carr looking to throw on third and two. And he finds Carr. And Brock. Throwing on first down is Carr. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. He'll be stopped short of the 25. The nice move couldn't free him. On play action, it's Carr. And now he'll tuck it and run. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. Now they'll throw with Carr. And this will be incomplete. From the gun now on third down, Carr. This is caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. The kick by Tavecchio is good.
Here's Keenum. They set up the screen to Booker. And he'll be brought down right at... On second down, here's Keenum. Drops it underneath for Booker. And he's able to take it across midfield. But quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center eligible stuff. But still, a lot of guys to account for. And now a shot. On first and ten, here's Carr. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose. Carr will try it again on second down. Let's it go for Nelson. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground. They fake the handoff. Now Carr rolling to his right. Now he's going to throw deep. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. A big play there just before halftime. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he'll be taken down at the 34. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he'll get down to about the 26-yard line. Tavecchio puts this one through. So we are at halftime here on Christmas Eve as we send you cross-country to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started up at Lucas Oil Stadium in the capital city of Indianapolis where you see the final score there. Dontrell Inman well over 100 yards receiving with three touchdown catches. Next, we head off to check out another game, and it was the visiting Chicago Bears who come away with the victory. Mitchell Trubisky, two touchdown passes as his guys remain unbeaten. Lastly, let's get you way up to Seattle, see what's happening with the Seahawks. And they were winners in that game over the visiting Kansas City Chiefs. Russell Wilson, strong in the victory as it pushes his guys back above the 500 mark on the year. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And able to stay on his feet past the 30. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Now a play fake. Carr. Dancing to his left. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Throwing his car on third down. Staying on his feet. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Imagine what the grease board looks like at the half. Because no, tell me. that's exactly what they printed up. Stop them on defense, get the ball back for our offense, and go downfield and score some points. Now, the last part remains to be seen, but they got the first part done very well. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made. Throwing his Keenum on third down. Looking long for Thomas. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked up by Gary and Conlon. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. They'll start the drive with Washington. And he stopped immediately there. On play action. Now Carr. And an alley to run. That one will go as a gain of 11. They'll run it now out of the gun. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. Hey, get set. 280. Now Carr throwing on second down. And the Broncos get there and take him down. Play action. Now it's Carr. They'll roll him out right. And complete right side to Cook. 
and have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. They'll hand off to Booker. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight yard line. Throwing on third down, Keenum. This is Booker on the dump ball. And he will. If you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. Booker on first down. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. There are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in, maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. From the gun, it's Keenum. He's got a man. It's Sutton that's complete. Keenum now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. They'll fake the give. Now Keenum. He's going to let this one go deep. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. From the gun on third down, Keenum. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. We got it. We got it. Good job, and they'll run it here. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Carter throw on second down. And Bryant's got it over the middle. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. And they'll go on the ground. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's in. Touchdown, Raiders. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, look at Thomas wide open. Start there to the drive. Big hill to climb, needing two touchdowns, also a two two-point conversion. So, partner, how do you eat an elephant? I don't eat an elephant. <laughs> elephant. Well, if you do, you do it one bite at a time. That's the way they've got to play this. One play at a time. And his outlet, man, because of the coverage, is way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. Back to the air. Keenum on second down. And Sutton hauls it in over the middle. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you go lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Again, it's Keenum. And the catch made. This is Emmanuel Sanders. And all the way home for a Bronco score. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. There's a natural inclination here, partner, to say, okay, a lot of guys are going to play down the stretch. We're clinched. We're ready to go. Carr gives it off to Washington, and he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. Right back to Washington. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Staying on the ground with Washington. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that. They'll run it now out of the gun. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout. The kick by Tavecchio is good. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. See what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. We'll see, I love it. We'll see if they dial it up this drive. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. From the gun, here's Keenum. Open man, and that's his tight end, Jake Butt. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. On first down, Keenum. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. The Raiders likely going to get out of this with a victory as they take a knee. They'll go ahead and take the knee here, and the unbeaten season will continue. To the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels, get to share it with the home team. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for the Raiders, they're now a win away from a perfect regular season as they move to 15-0. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Kansas City Chiefs.